Hey guys, hope you're having a great day, as well as a great life. As well as a great life. We're here, we're back, classical gas. Yeah. Excited. I'm pretty excited too. Now I've heard this, I think, as a kid. I remember a song called Classical Gas that I learned on like a nylon string guitar. Yeah. That I remember being super fucking hard and I could only do like half of it. And probably not well. Probably half as good as I remember and it wasn't great when I did it. <laughs> but that being said, really excited to hear it as an adult. See if one, it's what I remember. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty yeah. I'm pretty pumped, dude. Because uh, the poll theme, uh, the query we asked you guys was, "What are songs that change your perception of what music could do?" And this was from the poll that came out of it, and it was the winner. Interesting. I, Beat out Devo, I think. Beat out Devo. Yeah, which it's their cover of "I Can't Get No Satisfaction from the Stones," which I'm actually very curious about that too. That so would I'm be gonna, fun. We have to follow up on that. Yeah, but let us know for now. Either way, classical, classical gas. gas drinks. You always heard it. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Same song. It was a classical guitarist who like did it just a uh, classical arrangement of it, but he went nuts. Oh, I see. I see. He went like Devil Went Down to Georgia nuts. Dude, but, this, this felt like a musical treat. Yeah, it was like a symphony. Yeah, it was very much orchestral in nature. Like, man, such great use of harmony and melody. Like, the, especially the walk up, like, just fantastic. It's fantastic. I definitely could see someone going the devil nun in Georgia style because I felt almost a similar energy of just kind of like sauciness when he was kind of going off a little bit. Where I was like, "Ooh, I'll have to show it to you when we do the backstage access live stream, whatever time this yeah. week." We're I'll like, show I, it. To I you. see how someone could hear this and go, "I'm trying to like keep that going." Yeah, like, like that energy going. Yeah, because it does have the out like this like ferocity yeah. in it. That's weird. It's like a weird ferocity that I absolutely adored in this. Yeah, almost like um, yeah, just like triumphant in in general. It felt like like a like a brazened sailor conquering like 
too wild of a storm that the rest of the crew didn't think they could handle, but he thought he could, and he did. Mm. Like, it feels like <laughs> cresting the that. last wave, and you're yeah. like, I told you. Dang. I fucking told you. You know, that's Dang. what it feels like. It's great. I see that. I definitely could see how this could change someone's perception of what music could do a little bit. Because, like, you don't really hear a lot of stuff like this, you know? No, especially to have, like, the, like the horns and the drums crashing, yeah. and then really the focal point is just, like, a nylon string guitar, like a flamenco, like just this beautiful melody, like like a yeah like a adventure. I guess oh, nothing like it'd be classical, but yeah, yeah, very adventure. I can see this being like a Zelda game, you know. What really got me, what um kind of brought it back to me of like kind of changing what music could do a little bit was uh so when the hordes came in and then after they kind of introduced themselves a little bit, kind of the car, the guitar kind of came back and um the horn almost acted like like almost like a bass like in the left oh. ear a little bit where I was like I haven't know if I've ever even heard. Like heard a horn do that or play that type of role. Yeah, I can in a see piece that. yet. So. Yeah, no, it's a lot of really cool mixed elements that I uh, I'm here for. That was such a cool treat. Had a lot of life. Yeah, it felt like a treat. Yeah, yeah, a treat is. Yeah, I think you said it first. Yeah, yeah, and yeah that's musical what, musical treat. Feels accurate. Feels very accurate. And I felt very happy just to be a part of it. But like, oh, thank you. Thank yeah, adventurous man. treat. Yes. Yeah, those are probably the two best words to describe it. Good job, yeah. Andy. Gold star. Uh, Sweet. Yeah, dang, dude. I guess rating. Okay. Three, two, one, A. 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 Yeah. It's, yes. Yeah. Because I feel like our writing scale is hard to apply to stuff like Frank Zappa and this. Yeah, it does. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's different. Here's what it is. Our, um, our rating system is like Einstein mechanics. It's like working with like. like it's like redneck Einstein mechanics. Yeah, it's. <laughs> Any anything with the, the too small, like on the either end of the spectrum, or like you know, you get to black holes, or you get to quant like quantum mechanics, it that shit breaks down. It's like yeah. I, it could be anyone's guess. It's kind yeah. of a superposition of all stage, if you will. Also, the most objective thing ever. It's true. And also, the women of like how we're feeling that day. I will say, I think this is a piece that could grow on me in a way where I could see like sixty year old Andy listening to it in a weird, in an interesting place and crying. Of like hope yeah. for humanity. All right. Fuck yeah, <laughs> you dude. know what right, I mean? Cool, yeah. Be like, dang, this guy believed in something. I hope you call me on that day. And you go, dude, I fucking <laughs> it lost it. Happened. It happened. Man, when dude. I least expected it. I just I just saw the light of humanity <sighs> at the end of the tunnel and it was it was everything was fine in the end. Honestly, <laughs> it felt like when Aragorn returned a little bit. Yeah. Okay, bro. Bring Lord of the Rings into this. That's what I was trying. <laughs> yeah. I know you. Uh but, um yeah, cool. no, lo lovely, lovely. You fucking dope, dude. Oh, actually should, it would be on the third day on the sunrise. That would have been like the on the fifth day. Fifth day on the... The sun rises. Look to the east. Yeah, look look to the east. Anyways, Andy loves Lord of the Rings. If that's not known to you, it's known now. Let us know what you need to hit next. Fourth day or fifth day? I don't even know. I forget, dude. Dang, you forget? I forgot just now. You, he said at least one other Lord day. of the Ring quotes to me today. Yeah. So... It happens, dude. Yep. Well, we'll see you. Being fifth day. Peace. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to get a good time watching that video, go and upvote the video, subscribe if you're not already. Check out some other videos here on the YouTube or on the Patreon if you want extra juicy stuff. You can't get on YouTube because people walk in here.